Hey, what's going on, phone dogs? Bo HD here. Hope you guys are doing well. Now, OnePlus devices have always been some of my favorite mobile handsets in the market, partly because of how much value they offer and because of the pure Android software they run. The most recent OnePlus device we have is the OnePlus 5T, which is kind of like the equivalent of an S model iPhone. It offers some pretty cool, neat new features like an 18 by nine display, a relocated fingerprint scanner and revamped dual camera setup, but it's not enough to really warrant a new number. Now, as of last week, the OnePlus 5T can no longer be purchased here in the US or North America because it has sold out of stock. OnePlus doesn't produce more devices as needed. Instead, they mass produce a bunch of devices to last them until the successor comes out. This helps them save money on production costs, which ultimately helps bring the cost of the phone down. I do wanna give a plug to gearbest.com because as of making this video, they are still selling the OnePlus 5T and depending on when you view their listings, the phones actually might be a little bit cheaper than the, what they normally are priced at here in the US. So I'll place a link in the description if you are interested. With the OnePlus 6 expected to launch in late quarter two of 2018, I thought I would go ahead and give you my wish list based off some of the leaks and rumors that we've already seen. First of all, I love the metallic build construction of the OnePlus 5T, but I'd like to see a glass or maybe ceramic build if that means support for wireless charging. The rear-facing fingerprint scanner can stay on the back in the same exact place for all I care because it's a perfect place for my index finger. The notification toggle or slider has been a trademark feature, so I can't imagine them getting rid of it, but uh, one report suggests it'll be moved to the right-hand side of the phone, but personally, I like it being on the left-hand side because I'm a left-handed user. I wanna see a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack make a return. Yes, the future is wireless, but we're not quite there yet, at least not all of us. Personally, I still use a headphone jack when listening to some music and when listening to music in my car specifically. Dave Lee believes that the OnePlus 6 will have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack because of how important the jack is in other markets like India. What may be my most desired feature is dual stereo front facing speakers. Some sort of dual speaker setup would please me, but I wanna see two big speaker grills on the front of this phone sandwiched between the display and the edge of the frame. With that in mind, I would like to see the top and bottom bezels slimmed down even more than they already are to increase that screen to body ratio. The 18 by nine display looks great on the OnePlus 5T, but slightly curvier edges and thinner bezels would be even more desirable. It's likely we're gonna see an edge-to-edge -edge display with a notch similar to the iPhone X. If it were up to me, I would just remove the notch and throw in some big front-facing stereo speakers to clean up the look a little bit. Uh, OnePlus smartphones, they have always had a 1080p display for as long as I can remember. So the next item on my wish list would be an even larger 6.3 inch QHD resolution Super AMOLED display. Powering the OnePlus 6 will be a Snapdragon 845 octa-core processor with up to eight gigabytes of RAM. That's almost a given, as is the fact that it'll run Android 8.0 Oreo out of the box with support for Android P in the months to come. I hope the OnePlus 6 comes with a 3,500 milliamp hour battery or greater, uh, preferably 4,000 milliamp hours of power. It's not out of the realm of possibility and with the higher resolution display, a battery greater than 3,300 milliamp hours would be appreciated. So the OnePlus cameras have always been good, but they kind of always fell short of the higher end smartphones from Apple, Samsung, and Google. It'd be nice to see two main sensors that don't do that. A lot of what really translates to a cream of the crop shot has to do with good hardware as well as good software that's able to accurately adjust brightness, sharpness, white balance, etc. when you press on the shutter button. Now, in terms of hardware, I would like to see maybe dual 12 or 16 megapixel sensors that are able to take in a ton of light and excel in low light photography. Instead of zoom lenses or uh, monochrome lenses, my preferred choice would actually be a wide angle sensor that's found in LG's newest devices. I love being able to really capture uh, beautiful nature landscape shots with a wide angle sensor. Last but not least, the price. OnePlus has been increasing the price of its smartphones every iteration uh, with the newest device starting at around $500. I'd like to see OnePlus keep this $500 price tag and launch a phone with all or most of the features that I mentioned in this video. If it's able to do that, I think it'll have another hit on its hands. 
With that said, I'm looking forward to the OnePlus 6 and I hope you are too. Let me know what you'd like to see featured in this device in the comments down below. And make sure you're subscribed here to PhoneDog.com because we're gonna bring you coverage of the device as soon as it is announced in May or June. As always, Bo HD, I'll see you guys right back here in the next one. See ya.